The story of the first lieutenant of the 11th Cavalry. Part 3 Starting from where we left off, and how he was saying he has a deep appreciation for the men fighting in Afghanistan, he goes on to say, The rules of engagement were, if they shot at us, we shot back. We opened up with our 50 caliber on the enemy. We did the best we could to neutralize the enemy fire. We just raised hell for several days. So what about the three Bronze Star's medals that he received? They were much the same as the first encounter, where he was awarded the Silver Star. We had an enemy we tried to kill or capture, Abbott said. The most dramatic thing that happened to me while I was in Vietnam was when Lieutenant Carl Harris got killed. He said, Carl had a platoon of three or four M48 tanks. His tanks were accompanying us when he was hit by an RPG. It killed him. His name is on the wall in DC. Besides the death of his friend and fellow lieutenant, the other thing that has stuck in Abbott's mind all these years was the trip home. The ride back to the States and his confrontation with Vietnam War protesters. Coming back home, we flew into Oakland, California. There were several of us coming back from Vietnam on the plane. The protesters were waiting for us in the airport terminal, he recalled. All he said about the incident was, it was difficult. Shortly after being discharged from the army, Abbott went to work for Kodak. For 34 years, he was employed in Rochester, New York, by the filmmaker. After decades with Kodak, he got a job for a half a dozen years as a civilian consultant to the Air Force. Then he and his wife Nancy moved to Inglewood, Florida four years ago when they retired. They have two grown children, Ross and Kelly. Looking back on his military career, Abbott said, There were two things that got me through my years in Vietnam. As a platoon leader, I couldn't show my fear. I had 32 people depending on me. Secondly, I read the Bible every night I was in Vietnam. One verse comes to mind, Romans 14a. For whether we live, we live unto the Lord, and whether we die, we die unto the Lord. Whether we live, therefore, or die, we are the Lord's. He goes on to say, that verse carried me through the Vietnam War. It didn't make me any braver, but it gave me assurance there was a higher power. Remember, if it's more interesting, you can find it here. Make sure to like, comment, and hit follow. Thanks.